Welcome to Tampa Bay, Florida, the home of the beautiful campus, University of South Florida Bulls. Now, the Bulls are not a good basketball program historically. Last season, they went 8-23. They only have three NCAA tournament appearances all time, and they have never made it past the second round and had a Sweet 16 berth. I, me, am here to change that because we are the new head coach of the South Florida Bulls, Danny Ology. Here we go. I'm ready to bring this team not only to the Sweet 16, but all the way to the top to the national championship eventually. So we are here. I'm going to turn off coaching contracts, new job offers, and firing because I'm staying true to the Florida, the South Florida Bulls for this series. So let's get it started, man. I'm going to have a balanced coaching style so I can switch things up depending on the matchups. Let's go, man. We are already here in the Big East, and that is one thing. This South Florida team on this game is in the Big East Conference, and that is going to make this challenge so much harder. Look at our competition. We got Cincinnati, Connecticut, DePaul, Georgetown, Louisville, Marquette, Notre Dame, Pitt, Providence, Rutgers, Seton Hall, of course, us, South Florida, St. John's, Syracuse, Villanova, and West Virginia. I mean, South Florida is easily the worst pro basketball program in this conference, at least in my opinion. I mean, you could argue maybe a few others, but this is going to be a very tough challenge. All right, guys, I'm just going to make the dynasty length years 30 because that's the highest you can go. We're, we're probably not going to go 30 years, but just to just to be safe and uh, everything else can stay. Upperclassmen can go pro, allow players to transfer. Hopefully we don't lose a lot of players to that, but that is going to stay on quarter length. I'm going to have it at 12 minute half. So two 12 minute halves per game. I will be playing and all these rules I'm going to have stay on. We are going to be playing on all American difficulty. So that is just going to make this challenge, this dynasty, this rebuild that much harder. We're playing on the hardest difficulty. If you guys want to see these sliders, um, you guys can pause the video. I'm just going to scroll through them for those of you who maybe want to copy these settings. Um, and yeah, visual and audio settings, just gonna keep those how they are. So yeah, let's move on. Guys, let's look at the team preview preseason for our squad. So overall rating, we're actually at A minus, but our preseason rankings, media poll unranked, coaches poll unranked, and our conference prediction is to finish 15th in the conference. That might be last. I'm not sure how many teams are in this Big East conference, but I'm pretty sure they have us preseason finishing last in the conference. So we're gonna have to change that we're definitely not finishing last all right guys now let's meet the roster for year one at starting center we have the six foot ten senior 230 pounds obu obu now obu obu is a strength beast he is going to get the boards he is the heart and the toughness of this team if he sees you trying to mess with or pick on one of the smaller guys on the team he is going to get dirty and probably try to fight you so obu obu definitely a big part of this team for year one and then we have a player i hope becomes the future of this team we have dom alvarez a six foot ten power forward he is only a sophomore. He is going to be big for this team, not only this year, but the future of this series. He is a post perimeter player. He can post you up. He can play you outside. He is a very versatile player, and I'm very excited about him. He might be our best player of the series. And as starting small forward, we only have 60 overall. He is a freshman. Henny Smith and now his name is Henny because sometimes he might make some questionable decisions that might seem like he might have been drinking a little bit but we still have him up on the squad he is the only small forward we have on our roster so it looks like he is going to have to start and at starting shooting guard we have Ricky Cage he is a junior hopefully he stays for his senior year because he is probably going to be our best shooter and a great passer as well 
Very excited about this team, guys. And at starting point guard, we have Seth Jarvis. He is the leader of this team. He is a senior, six foot three, a great, great passer. He is going to be the facilitator and leader of this team. He is also stingy on the steal, so look out for him to be a great defensive player. And the only two bench players that will probably be getting minutes this season are Jamal Willis, shooting guard, sophomore off the bench, and Johnny Neal, a power post player to come off the bench at center. So that is the team for year one. All right, guys, now let's take a look at our schedule for year one. So our first game, we're starting off with our rival, Central Florida on the road. That's going to be a tough one. Then we get Florida at home. The Florida Gators. That's going to be a tough game at Wichita State. Then we get CSU. And then we get at Arkansas Little Rock. So it's then St. Joseph. So those are three games that we have to win on that three game stretch. Because let me tell you, the rest of the schedule is absolutely brutal. Then we go on the road at Texas A&M. On the road at Georgia Tech. Then we get Lipscomb. Then we get at home, Michigan State, always a tough team, coached by Coach Izzo there. Then we get at home versus WVU. At Providence, DePaul, this is when we get into Big East play, starting with West Virginia. UConn, at Syracuse, Seton Hall, Louisville, Rutgers, at Pitt, Marquette, Georgetown, at WVU, Cincinnati, at UConn at Villanova, at Rutgers, at Notre Dame. Oh my gosh, that four road game span right there is going to be tough. Then we get St. John's at home to close out the regular season. I don't know, guys. This is going to be a brutal schedule. Do you guys think that we can make the NCAA tournament in year one? I'm not so sure, but we're definitely going to give it a shot. So guys, that is going to do it for episode one of this dynasty. Make sure you guys stay tuned on the channel because episode two should be uploaded the same day where we play our first game against UCF, our rivals. It's going to be a good one. And yeah, guys, super excited about this series. Thank you so much for watching.